ಸ್ಥಾಪಕಾಯ ಚ ಧರ್ಮಸ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣೆ ಅವತಾರ ವರಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ತೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ನಾವು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ವೇ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭೂತಶುದ್ಧಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಭೂತಶುದ್ಧಿ we had gone up to the new formation of the body new body is being created so we will again revise the same topic that is bhuta shuddhi in a short way in a brief way and then go to the further study of the puja because this particular thing that is bhuta shuddhi is very very important as swami shardanand ji maharaj one of the direct disciples who is the author of ramakrishna the great master he indicates that in the puja this is one of the very important part whereby it can be used for meditation it is it has a combination of raj yoga gnana yoga bhakti yoga and everything so we shall go into the details and see it again bhut shuddhi which means purification of the elements of the body now the picture is there the on the screen you can see the mantras are also there which i am telling purification of the elements of the body bhuta shuddhi you have to sit in that posture so i am explaining that posture now placing the back of the right palm over the left palm on the lap placing the back of the right palm over the left palm on the lap imagine that the jivatman individual self residing in the heart like an unflickering flame in a windless place is brought to the muladhara now and merged now we will go to the next slide so now you can see this slide where it is given all the chakras and the position on the backbone so now the jivatman which is at the heart has to be brought to the muladhara and merged in the kundalini that is a place of the kundalini kundalini is the energy the power the divine mother who is staying there energy so kundalini is just like a slumbering snake it is in the form because it is sleeping we have to awaken by repeating the mantra om so now we have to take down the jivatman as we to- showed it earlier through the sushumna canal to the muladhara then merge it in the kundalini then awaken the slumbering kundalini the sleeping kundalini is to be awakened through the utterance of the bija mantra om so when you repeat the bija mantra om then this kundalini which is slumbering which is sleeping will be awakened then after that repeating soham i am he or soham means saha aham that i am that parabrahma swarupa or paramatma swarupa i am so by repeating this soham we raise the kundalini we are taking up the kundalini through the sushumna canal upwards by contracting the muladhara that's the lowest uh, chakra on the backbone or sushumna nadi then we are taking this jivatman merged with kundalini up to the next chakra from the muladhara now we are showing the next slide this is the muladhara chakra we are now bringing the next slide muladhara chakra so this is the place where kundalini resides in the form of the slumbering snake so the this chakra or the plane of existence or the plane of the mind consciousness here the bija bija mantra is lam the prithvi bija mantra lam then we are bringing that jivatman here merging with the kundalini and taking it up now to the next chakra now you can see the bija mantra is lam because we have to the prithvi bija mantra we have to remember this bija mantra we will be using it in the jivanyasa so there are the petals of this is four and uh, there are all the there are all the special features the color is red 
and uh, divine mother the shakti in the form of shakti resides here in the form of kundalini and also ganesha's uh, place is also muladhara now we are going to the next chakra that is the swadhisthana chakra we are raising the kundalini by repetition of soham to the next chakra that is the swadhisthana now the color of this is orange so the mantra of this thing is vam so the first one was lam this is vam and there are about six petals here so from here we are taking the kundalini and the jivatman up to the next chakra we are going to the manipura chakra please move the move to the next slide we are going to the manipura chakra this is exactly behind the navel on the sushumna canal so the manipura chakra now the jivatman and the kundalini have come because we are repeating that soham mantra it is going up so the bija mantra of this is the agni bija mantra ram the color is yellow ram is the bija mantra then there are 10 petals here in this manipura there are 10 petals from here we are taking the jivatman merged in kundalini to the next chakra that is the anahata chakra the heart chakra we'll be moving to the next slide this is the anahata chakra we are moving the jivatman and the kundalini upwards this is the heart chakra just on the sushumna canal just behind the region of the heart you find this chakra the bija mantra is yam it is green in color now from here we are moving the jivatman and the kundalini to the next chakra that is the vishuddha chakra at the throat region on the sushumna canal so now this is blue in color this chakra that is the vishuddha chakra is blue in color and it has the the earlier anahata chakra was 12 in petals now this is 16 petals you can see there are 16 petals now the mantra of this chakra is hum then we are moving from here to the next chakra that is the agna chakra the place is exactly between the eyebrows the third eye the position of the third eye behind is the sushumna canal so exactly at that place we have this agna chakra it is the color is indigo and the mantra of this chakra is om we are moving the jivatman and the kundalini from here to the next chakra that is the sahasrara chakra the thousand petal lotus which is drooping until now you can see the drooping thousand petal lotus then when this jivatman and the kundalini touches this place the place of shiva the place of paramatman or the place of guru then the thousand petal lotus blooms on your head and you can see the picture here how we have moved down from the basic muladhara chakra which has the mantra lam vam ram yam ham then we have come to this agna chakra now we are in the sahasrara chakra the color of this sahasrara chakra is violet and white so now you can see jivatman and the kundalini have merged in the sahasrara in the paramatman so the thousand petal lotus has bloomed on your head and it is turning upwards now the kundalini is merged in paramatman or shiva so then after that what is to be done merge the kundalini thus roused with the paramatman dwelling in the pericarp of the thousand petal drooping lotus of the sahasrara after piercing successively the 4 6 10 12 16 2 2 petal lotuses of the chakra you are coming to the thousand petal lotus so how have we gone from the muladhara swadhisthana manipura anahata vishuddha and agna chakra respectively imagine also that therein are merged now from here we are also taking the 24 cosmic principles and merging it here what are the 24 cosmic principle in the next slide you can see that the 24 cosmic principles it is all given there so i will just explain what are the 24 cosmic principles that is also taken along the jivatman and kundalini and we are merging it in the paramatman what are the 24 cosmic principles speech hand 
food, the organ of evacuation, the generative organ. These are the five organs of action. Then we have the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. These are the five organs of knowledge. It has become ten. Then we have the five elements from which this body is made out of earth, water, light, air, sky. The five subtle elements. So then sound, touch, form, taste, smell, mind, intellect, ego and prakriti. So all together makes the 24 cosmic principle. Now it all, everything is much. The whole thing which is in your body. Now except the Papa Purusha and the subtle body. We have taken up everything with the Kundalini, the Jivatman and we have merged it in Paramatman. Now there is only the Papa Purusha, the personification of sin. Whatever sins we have committed in all our different lives is there. And we have the subtle body. We shall go to the next slide. So now you can see we have to imagine the Papa Purusha and uh, the Papa Purusha or the personification of sin will be the meditation or the this thing will be done by the mantra. We have to imagine that. Before that what is to be done after we have merged the 24 cosmic principles with the Kundalini and also we have taken up the Jivatman and merged in the Paramatman. Then meditating. The next thing is the meditation on the Vayu Bija Mantra, Yam. Vayu Bija Mantra it is given there on the screen. Vayu Bija Mantra is Yam. So meditating on the Vayu Bija Mantra Yam in the left nostril, fill the body with air by inhaling through the that nostril while repeating Yam, the Vayu Bija Mantra. Now Generally, we have to take, do according to the principle of pranayama 16 times because for you are the beginner, beginners, it will be difficult for you to do 16 times. We will reduce the ratio to 4 times. So, the next, this thing Kumbhaka will be 16 and Rechaka, putting out the air will be 8. So, we have reduced the thing. Otherwise, it will be 16, 64 and 32. The ratio will be that because you are beginners, we have reduced the ratio. Now, after repeating that Vayu Bija Mantra Yam 16 times, closing both the nostrils perform Kumbhaka. That is retention of the air inside your lungs. So how many times have you to repeat it? it generally we have to do it 64 times but we have reduced it to the lower ratio. So first was taking in, we did it 4 times the Mantra Yam. Now we have to reduce it to the lower ratio that 16 times. Then during Kumbhaka, think of the Papa Purusha, the personification of sin. So what is his nature? How are we to imagine that Papa Purusha? You have to personify. You have to give him a human form. So the Papa Purusha looks like this. He is dark in complexion with brown eyes residing in the left, in the region of the stomach, left side of your body in the region of the stomach. So the scriptures tell him by this mantra, Accordings with the following description. What is that? Vama Parshvastitam Papa Purusham Kajala Prabham Brahmahatya Sharaskam Swarnasteya Bhujadvayam Surapan Hrada Yuktam Guru Talpa Katidvayam Tat Samsargi Pada Dvandva Manga Pratyanga Anga Pratyanga Patakam Upapataka Romanam Raktas Mashru Vilochanam Kadga Charmadaram Kridamevam Kukshau Vichintayet so you have to imagine the Papa Purusha like, just like this. So on the left side of your body, then imagine that the subtle body also with this Papa Purusha, along with this Papa Purusha has been dried up by the Vayu Bija Mantra, the air, the Vayu Bija Mantra, a repetition of that, it is dried up and exhale, that is put out the air, Rechaka, through the right nostril, repeating Yam. How many times? You have to do it generally 32 times because we are reducing the ratio. It will be 8 times. Again, meditating in the right nostril on the Agni Bija Mantra. Ram. The Agni Bija Mantra, it's also given there on the screen. It is Ram. So we have to repeat that Ram 16 times generally. But now we will reduce the ratio to 4 times. Fill the body with air. Repeating that Agni Bija Mantra, the fire Bija Mantra Ram. Closing both the nostrils, perform Kumbhaka, repeating the same Bija Mantra, Ram, Agni, the fire Bija Mantra. 
it has to be done 64 times because we are beginners we will reduce it to 16 times during this time imagine that the subtle body along with the papa purusha the sin the personification of sin is completely burnt up this is the agni bija mantra ram so we have to imagine that the papa purusha within your body is burnt up and exhaling through the left nostril rechaka put out that by repeating the same bija mantra ram of the agni so it should be done 32 times but we are reducing it to 8 times throw out the ashes of the burnt up papa purusha and the subtle body along with the exhaled air now meditating on the chandra bija mantra thumb the chandra bija mantra we will go to the next slide we have to now see there the chandra is there the moon the picture of the moon for you to meditate now meditating on the chandra bija mantra thumb so that it is given that T H A M. it has to be pronounced as not thumb it is thumb thumb chandra bija mantra thumb so as usual we are reducing from the 16 to 4 because to do the uh, rechaka and other things so many times will be difficult for the beginners we are reducing it to 4 so now taking in that the bija that uh, meditating on this bija mantra four times then we are repeating it that thumb during this process think that the moon present on your own forehead the picture of the person yogi meditating on the moon at the forehead is also given so now you have to imagine moon has moon is there on your forehead then his bija mantra is thumb you have to meditate on that and what are we to do think while meditating during this process think that the moon is present on your own forehead then closing both the nostrils perform kumbhaka retention of the breath while repeating the Varuna Bija Mantra. What is Varuna? The goddess, the sorry, the god of rain, Varuna. And his uh, Bija Mantra is Vam. That is, the Vam Bija Mantra indicates Amriti Karana, Amrita, of the Amrita, the nectar. We have to do it 64 times, the Kumbhaka, but we are beginners, we will do it 16 times. During this time, think that through the nectar, in the form of the, how is the nectar? The nectar is in the form of the Matruka Varana. So Sanskrit language alphabets it's given there. All the Sanskrit lang language letters, the consonant, the vowels, the Vargiya Vengen and Avargiya Vengen, everything is given there. So that 50 letters of Sanskrit. So the 50 alphabets of Sanskrit language that, is, that they originate. They are Akshara, indestructible. They come from the Parabrahma and they come from Om. So they all have come from Om, the sound. So they are Akshara. They are also immortal, like the nectar-like. So during this time, think that through the nectar in the form of the 50 alphabets of the Sanskrit language, Matrukavarana, emanating from the moon, the whole body has been made anew. So from the moon emanating, the nectar emanating, you are repeating the Vam. So that Varana Bija Mantra or the Amriti Karana Mantra, Vam, so now, during this time, think that through the nectar in the form of the 54, 50 alphabets of the Sanskrit language, emanating from that moon, the whole body has been made anew because you have burnt the Papa Purusha, you have burnt the subtle body. So nothing is there. Everything, the 24 cosmic principle has been merged in the Paramatman. Now you are creating a new body with the Matruka Varna or the Amruta. From the nectar, you are creating a new pure body. And you have become divine. The Papa Purusha, the man of sin, everything is burnt. Now you have created a new divine body for yourself. Now repeating the Prithvi Bija Mantra, Lam. The Prithvi Bija Mantra is Lam. You have to do it 32 times. That is the Rechika, but now you have to do it 8 times to reduce it. The Jivatman along with the Kundalini merged in the after repeating the Prithvi Bija Mantra Lam 32 times, thinking that the body be strong and adamant, exhale through the right nostril. Thereafter, uttering the mantra Ham Saha. First, you told the mantra Soham, Saha Aham. 
to raise the Kundalini and the Jivatman to the Sahasrara. Now to bring down the Kundalini and the Jivatman downwards, you are repeating Hamsaha. The mantra Hamsaha means Aham Saha. Aham means I. Saha means the Lord. I am that Lord. I am of the nature of the Lord. That is the mantra Hamsaha. Thereafter uttering the mantra Hamsaha, think that the Jivatman along with the Kundalini merged in the Paramatman as well as the 24 cosmic principles have again manifested in their respective places having passed through the Sushumna canal to the new, newly, born, uh, newly uh, created divine body. So we had stopped until this in the last class. Now from here we have created the new divine body and we have made it strong by repetition of the Prithvi Bija Mantra Lam. Then we have brought down the Jivatman to the heart region and also Kundalini to the Muladhara Chakra and all the 24 cosmic principle. And now you have a new subtle body. There is no Papa Purusha. It's a divine body. It's a new body. Now this whole process of Bhuta Shuddhi is a long process. So if you do it every day during the puja, it's very, very good as Sharda Nandiji Maharaj tells in Great Master. But if you have shortage of time, you can do the next, that is Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi. The next slide can be bought. Now we have the next slide, that is the Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi. What is the meaning of the Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi? Sankshipta means brief. Purification of the elements of the body, we did it earlier in detail. Now, if you have shortage of time while doing the puja, if you want to reduce the time, then this can be done. This is brief purification of the elements of the body. That's why the name Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi. So, what are we to do in this Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi? Bhuta Shuddhi can be performed in brief through the utterance of the following four mantras. So, the four mantras, four mantras have been given there on the screen. You can see that I'm going to repeat it and I also will make you to repeat that. Just by repeating that four mantras, it is the same meaning. The, it conveys the same meaning. So you can do the whole Bhuta Shuddhi by that. Now I am going to utter the mantra. You can slowly repeat that mantra after me so that you can learn the mantra to do the Sankshipta Bhuta Shuddhi. Om Bhuta Shungata Chiraha Sushumna Pathena Jiva Shivam Parama Shiva Pade Yojayami Swaha. That is the first mantra. You can see it is displayed. The first mantra Om Bhuta. Repeat it Om Bhuta Shringata Chiraha Shringata Chiraha Sushumna Pathena Jiva Shivam Parama Shiva Pade Yojayami Swaha. Whatever we did in the detailed Bhuta Shuddhi, that same thing has been given in the mantra form. The Kundalini, the Jivatman merged, we merged it in the Muladhara. Mula Shungata means Muladhara. Shungata means triangle. So the Bhuta means the living being, we the living being. Shungata Chiraha which is there in the Muladhara, that is the Kundalini. Sushumna Patena, through the passage of or the path of Sushumna canal, we are taking the Jivatman and the Kundalini and merging it in Parama. Parama Shiva Pade Yojayami. We are uniting that Swaha. That is the meaning of the mantra. So whatever we did it in details, meditating, doing all the pranayama and other things, this is done by shortly, briefly through this mantra. That is the meaning. Now we are going to the, I will again make you to repeat this mantra. Om Bhuta Om Bhuta Shringata Chiraha. Shringata means triangle, that is the Muladhara. Shringata Chiraha, whatever is residing there in the Mula Shringata, that is um, our Kundalini. Sushumna Pathena, through the passage of Sushumna Patha, the passage, Sushumna Pathena, Jiva Shivam, that is the Jivatman, Jiva Shivam, Parama Shiva Pade. In the Paramatman or Shiva who is at the Sahasrara, Yojayami, I am going to merge Swaha. That is the mantra. We have repeated it. We have learned the mantra. Om Bhuta Shungata Chiraha. 
सुषुम्ना पथेन जीव शिव परम शिव पद योजया स्वाहा वी आर गोइंग टू द सेकेंड मंत्र नाउ आई मेक गोइंग टू मेक यू रिपीट दट मंत्र प्लीज रिपीट इट इट इज देर गिवन ऑन दी स्क्रीन ओम यम लिंग शरीर शोषय शोषय स्वाहा सो नाउ यम इज द वायु बीज मंत्र वी आर ड्राइंग अप Shoshaya Shoshaya means we are drying up. What are, what are we drying up? Linga Sharira, the subtle body with the Papa Purusha. That is the mantra. Om Yam. Please repeat it. Om Yam. Linga Sharira. Linga Sharira. Shoshaya Shoshaya Swaha. Shoshaya Shoshaya Swaha. That is the mantra. Meaning is we are going to dry up the Papa Purusha. and the linga sharira that is the subtle body by the repetition of the bija mantra yam that is vayu bija mantra vayu always the air dries up anything moisture so the moisture in the papa purusha and the linga sharira the subtle body is dried up by repeating yam that is the meaning i'll again repeat that mantra you can also repeat it after me om yam om yam sankocha shariram संकोच शरीर दह दह स्वाह सारी ऐ वेट टू द थर्ड मंत्र ऐ एम वेरी सारी ऐ हेव टू मेक यू रिपीट द सेकेंड मंत्र ओम यम लिंग शरीर ओम यम लिंग शरीर शोषय 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 स्वाह स्वाह नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू द थर्ड मंत्र ऐ हेव टोल्ड यू द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेकेंड मंत्र टू वी आर गोइंग टू द थर्ड मंत्र फर्स्ट आई विल मेक यू रिपीट द थर्ड मंत्र then i will give you the meaning om ram om ram sankocha shariram dah dah swaha om ram sankocha shariram dah dah swaha whatever body has been removed of the moisture by repeating the vayu bija mantra that is the sankocha sharira so by the repetition of the agni bija mantra ram daha daha means we are burning it it is getting burnt swaha that is the meaning i'll make you repeat that mantra again om ram om ram sankocha shariram sankocha shariram daha daha swaha daha daha swaha we have burnt up the subtle body the dried up subtle body and the papa purusha now the next mantra the fourth mantra we are going to repeat it what is that om parama shiva om parama shiva sushumna pathena sushumna pathena mula shungata mula shungata mula shungatam ullasollasa मूल शुंगाट उल्लसोलस ज्वल 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 प्रज्वल प्रज्वल सोहम हंस स्वाह ओं परम शिव सुषुम्ना पथेन मूल शुंगाट उल्लसोलस ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल सोहम हंस स्वाह सो वट एवर बी टोल बै रिपीटिशन ऑफ दि मून the bija mantra of the moon we are creating a new body then we are bringing down the jivatman and the kundalini from the sahasrara that is which has been merged in the paramatman or parmashiva downwards through the sushumna canal and all the 24 cosmic principles and making the body a new body and we are energizing that with all the different bija mantras by the amruti karna vayu bija mantra so that is the meaning of this mantra and we are creating a new divine body i will again make you repeat this mantra om parama shiva om parama shiva sushumna pathena sushumna pathena mula shungata mulla sollasa mula shungata mulla sollasa jwala 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 prajwala 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 soham amsah swaha soham hamsah swaha so now we have completed the sankshipta bhuta shuddhi 
that is purification of the elements of the body in brief if you do this alone that is the bhuta shuddhi in detail every day mentally because it is all mental performance that will be a wonderful meditation according to swami sharda anand ji maharaj but when you don't have to do that in your dashopchar puja every day then you can shorten it do this same sankshipta bhuta shuddhi by repeating these mantras so now we have finished the sankshipta bhuta shuddhi we are going to the next step that is vyapakanyasaha please move the slide to the next step next slide that is vyapakanyasaha yeah now you can see the next slide the process the step is vyapakanyasa what is the meaning simple meaning of this it is called total consecration vyapakanyasa means total consecration now i'll take you through the process of this consecration you can watch the two pictures given there that is the way we have to perform the vyapakanyasa so i'll come to that a little later on first i will tell you the mantra and the process what are we to do in vyapakanyasa total consecration now you have created a divine body isn't it now the old papa purusha and the subtle body has been burnt up and thrown out through the different mantras meditating on the moon and by the amruti karana vam bija mantra varna mantra we have created a new divine body we have energized it given the nutrition the energy made it strong by repetition of the prithvi bija mantra lam then a new divine body is now created in us there is no impurity there is no papa purusha you are pure now so in this pure body divine body we are now consecrating how are we consecrating the process is told here we will go through that process on completing bhuta shuddhi what did we do in completion of bhuta shuddhi the end result of bhuta shuddhi is you have created you have burnt up the papa purusha all the sins are gone you have now become divine you have created a new divine body on completing bhuta shuddhi gently pass both hands on this new body now the old body is gone you have to feel this new body isn't it so you have to pass gently both hands over the body from head to foot and again from foot to head uttering this mantra mula mantra now you can see the picture there from the head to the feet and from the feet to the head how the uh, hands are moved i will show here with whatever the possibility of the screen because i can't show my feet so only the upper portion of the body is there we have to start at the head like this i had earlier showed this vyapakanyasa then softly gently you have to move your hands touching the body consecrating the whole new divine body then going touching the feet it criss crosses the hand you can see how it is criss crossing there in the picture then you are coming up taking the hands like this i went straight earlier now again i came straight then again you are going down the body like this criss crossing again coming up criss crossed then again like this so this is the way you have to do the vyapakanyasa so i have shown you on the screen and the picture is also there for your easy understanding now again i will describe how to do this consecration of the newly created divine body by you through the bhuta shuddhi on completing bhuta shuddhi because you will be aware you should be aware now the old everything all the impurities all the other things the papa that since the papa purusha is completely destroyed burnt and a new divine body is now created now in this new body you have to feel that in this new body we are doing this vyapakanyasa total consecration on completing bhuta shuddhi gently pass both the hands over the body from head to foot and again from foot to head i demonstrated that on the screen and also it is there in the picture again from foot to head uttering what is the mula mantra you have to utter aam om pat swaha the mantra is displayed on the screen you can see it aam om pat swaha can you repeat it i am now again repeating the same mantra for that so that you can also repeat after me aam 
आम हूम हूम फट स्वाहा सो यू कैन रिपीट इट अगेन आम हूम फट स्वाहा सो यू टू रिपीट दिस मूल मंत्र वाइल यू आर डूइंग दैट प्रोसेस व्यापक न्यासा टेकिंग यूर हैंड्स जेंटली फ्रॉम द हेड टू द फूट and it has been shown how to do it then you have to repeat this am hum fat swaha this is known as vyapaka nyasa perform this three times so i showed you how you have to take down from the head to the foot and back to the this thing that is one time like that you have to do three times repeating this mula mantra am hum fat swaha perform this three times imagine that through this process what is happening your body speech and mind have been purified so now doing this vyapakanyasa in this new body you have to imagine that your body speech the new body which you created through bhuta shuddhi speech and mind have been purified that is why we are doing vyapakanyasa so we have completed vyapakanyasa the total consecration of the newly created body by bhuta shuddhi i will repeat it the process again for your easy understanding on completing bhuta shuddhi gently pass both hands over the body from head to foot and again from foot to head uttering am hum phat swaha or the mula mantra you can this mantra also can be told or the mula mantra of the particular deity you are worshiping also can be repeated here not only am hum phat swaha you can also repeat the mula mantra if we are doing the worship of ramakrishna om ayam sarva deva devi swarupaya shri ramakrishna ay namaha is the mula mantra If you are doing the Krishna puja, the mula mantra will change. If you are doing Ganesha puja, the mula mantra will change according to the Ganapati. So whichever deity puja you are doing, Durga, Kali, or anything, the mula mantra will change according to that. Otherwise, you can use this mantra Am Hum Phat Swaha or the mula mantra. This is known as Vyapakanyasa. You can see all the picture there. How to do it? I have also demonstrated it. Perform this three times. Imagine that through this process, your body. speech and mind have been purified so now we have completed vyapakanyasa total consecration of the newly created body through the bhuta shuddhi we are going to the next slide that is jivanyasa we are now going to the next step that is jivanyasa what is the meaning of this step jivanyasa the simple meaning has been given there in english earlier we have done the consecration total consecration now this is consecration of the self jiva the jivatman so jivanyasa nyasa means consecration nicely placing or nicely taking it away is the meaning but here it is consecration that means nicely placing in that place nicely placing the Thing whatever you want to consecrate, so jivan nyasa means nicely placing there. So jivan nyasa consecration of the self. How are we to do this? With a weave, it to making prana pratishta. Now you know when any new image is been consecrated in a temple. Whatever process you will be doing there in the consecration. doing the prana pratishta of that new image that same process is being followed here with the same mantras and what are we doing the prana pratishta we have created a new body here bhuta shuddhi through the bhuta shuddhi pure body we have purified it a new divine body is created and into this new body earlier it was the papa purusha it was there and all the mixture of so many things subtle body we have destroyed all those things created a new body in this new body we will do the prana pratishta establishment of the deity whom you are going to worship every day suppose you are doing ramakrishna's worship you will be installing ramakrishna into this newly created divine body if you are doing ganesha puja you will be installing ganesha into this body new body if you are doing krishna puja now anyhow we are doing krishna puja from tomorrow the because krishna janmashtami puja it will start 7 days before the krishna janmashtami so from to tomorrow there will be this puja of krishna all that thing will be done there i will be showing you how to do the puja and all of you can keep ready all that 
things of worship and you can do the puja so it will be done tomorrow so all of you can participate just as you are doing the uh, uh, here in this class puja class like that from tomorrow there will be krishna janmashtami celebrations preparation for the krishna janmashtami so from tomorrow itself during that there will be bhajans there will be talk there will be puja of shri krishna then there will be repetition of bhagavad gita shlokas all those things will be done for the preparation of krishna janmashtami every day we will be doing the puja of krishna at the time we will be repeating the meditation verse of krishna we will be repeating in the puja the mula mantra of krishna and uh, anganyasa karanyasa will be everything will be done according to the krishna puja paddhati the method now here at that time we will be doing the jivanyasa of krishna now here because we are doing the dashopchar puja we are showing how to do the puja here we will be telling the name of ramakrishna when we are doing the puja of krishna we will be doing krishna's puja okay so this in this jivanyasa now today we are going to tell the name of ramakrishna to install that dt ramakrishna into this newly created body so with a view to making prana pratishtha that is installation of or infusion of life into this newly created body the ishta devata of the ishta devata your chosen ideal tomorrow when we are doing krishna puja we will be installing doing the prana pratishtha of krishna lord krishna today we will do we will teach you to do in the name of ramakrishna in your own newly made divine body through the bhuta shuddhi think i am he so hum so touching the chest with lelihana mudra now the lelihana mudra has been shown there on the screen the name of that mudra is lelihana mudra i had asked to type the letter there lelihana somehow they have forgotten to type the letter but even then i am going to tell you the spelling of this mudra and also i will explain what that lelihana mudra is now let me tell you the spelling l e l e l i l i h a n a h a n a lelihana mudra this mudra which is shown the first step is how to fold your thumb at that base of the fingers then the three fingers are folded on that thumb and only the last finger small finger will be left so this mudra is called lelihana mudra so touching the chest your chest see i am showing the the first the first step is putting the thumb there then folding it the little finger is above this is lelihana mudra so now with this four three fingers which are stretched you have to touch the chest the chest portion like this that is lelihana mudra so touching the chest with lelihana mudra chant these mantras we have to chant some mantras and do the prana pratishtha before that i will give you the detail of what is this lelihana mudra so the lelihana mudra the description has been given like this i told you the spelling l e l i h a n a lelihana mudra how should we do that what is the description of lelihana mudra keeping the right palm inverted stretch the four finger middle finger and the ring finger downwards keeping the tip of the thumb at the root of the ring finger stretch the little finger alone upwards this mudra is used during jivanyasa so now we have shown that through two process there in the picture how to do the lelihana mudra first how to place the thumb at the tip of the three fingers and how the little finger is to be stretched and all the other three fingers is to be folded then touching that through the three fingers to the chest we have to do this jivanyasa this is lelihana mudra so we have explained about the lelihana mudra now we are coming to the proper process of jivanyasa again i will repeat the jivanyasa with a view to making pranapratishta installation of and infusion of life 
into this newly created body of the chosen duty deity who are you, who you are going to worship so today we are doing of ramakrishna when you do different deities puja the same mantra can be used only the name has to be changed so i will show you to tell the mantra repeat the mantra as well as you how to change the deity's name also okay so now the first mantra which you have to repeat is am khrim krom yam ram lam vam sham sham sam aum ham saha so these are the mantras you can i will make you repeat it see go through that again am hrim so the hrim is the shakti bija, bija mantra of the power the seed mantra seed syllable of the power shakti divine mother krom then yam is the vayu bija mantra ram is the agni bija mantra lam is the bija mantra of prithvi mother earth vam is the bija mantra of varuna water or amriti karana then sham the sham is the first letter sham then it is the murdhanya sham it has to the tongue has to touch the palate above that is the repetition the pronunciation of that sham the first one is just sham touching the teeth sham but the second is sham the tongue has to touch the palate then it is sam sa the tongue sa sam then haum ham saha so all these bija mantras are to be repeated i'll repeat it again you can also repeat it after me one by one aam repeat it please aam hrim hrim is the shakti bija mantra krom krom yam yam ram ram lam lam vam vam sham 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 sam sam haum haum ham saha ham saha so these are the way you have to repeat the bija mantra i have taught you now how to tell the next part of the same mantra the first mantra shri ramakrishna because we are doing ramakrishna puja we are installing today in your newly formed body divine body shri ramakrishna shri ramakrishna devatayah of the devata shri ramakrishna ishta devata shri ramakrishna that is the meaning shri ramakrishna devatayah prana so all the energies of shri ramakrishna body present prana pana vyana udana samana and the krikala and all other prana let it come and reside in this newly consecrated body divine body that is the meaning that is the prana pratishta you are doing the first the prana shri ramakrishna devatayah prana ih prana so now suppose you are doing krishna puja tomorrow how are you to do shri krishna devatayah prana ih prana suppose you are doing ganapati shri ganesha devatayah if you are doing shiva puja shri shiva devatayah if you are doing durga puja then the linga will change the gender devyah shri durga devyah like that prana ih prana that is the way you have to do i will now again repeat the whole mantra the first mantra you can just hear it because i have made you repeat earlier i will show you how to tell it the whole together the whole mantra first mantra prana pratishta mantra am hrim krom yam ram lam vam sham sham sam haum hamsah shri ramakrishna devatayah prana ih prana that is the first mantra now the prana the energies of all the present in the body of shri ramakrishna the devata has now come to you they have now entered you are, you have to feel that all that energy of shri ramakrishna the power the pranapana vyana udana all the energies the power has come into your body of shri ramakrishna you have to feel it then next what is the mantra in the pranapatishta mantra jivanyasa the same bija mantra is to be repeated am hrim krom yam ram 
लम वम शम शम सम हौम हमसा श्री रामकृष्ण देवताया जीव इह स्थित सो द जीव द लाइफ फोर्स द लाइफ ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण द देवता हूम यू आर वर्शिपिंग नाउ विल एंटर इन टू दिस न्यूली क्रिएटेड बॉडी ऑफ युअर्स यू आर बर्ट ऑल द पाप पुरुष इट्स अ न्यूली क्रिएटेड बॉडी प्योर बॉडी इन टू दट यू आर इंस्टॉलिंग श्री रामकृष्ण फर्स्ट द प्राणा वॉज इंस्टॉल्ड ऑल द एनर्जीज नाउ द जीवा इज बीन इंस्टॉल थ्रू दिस मंत्र आई विल अगेन रिपीट दिस मंत्र आम ह्रीम क्रोम यम रम लम वम शम शम सम हौम हंस श्री रामकृष्ण देवताया जीव इह स्थित द लाइफ फोर्स और लाइफ ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण एज एंटर्ड इन टू यू आर न्यू न्यूली क्रिएटेड बॉडी नाउ द थर्ड मंत्र इन द प्राण प्रतिष्ठा ईज द सेम बीज मंत्र विल बी रिपीटेड आई विल रिपीट इट अ लिटिल फास्ट बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू आम ह्रीम क्रोम यम रम लम वम शम शम सम हौम हम सह नव द अद पोर्शन ऑफ द मंत्र आई विल डू इट स्लोली श्री रामकृष्ण देवताया सर्वेन्द्रिया सर्वेन्द्रिया मीनिंग सर्व इंद्रिया ऑल द सेंस वेदर इट इज मोटर ऑर्गन और द ऑर्गन ऑफ एक्शन द नॉलेज ऑर्गन ऑफ ऑल द ऑर्गन that will now of shri ramakrishna's body will enter into your newly created body sarva indriya all the indriyas are now entering into your body into this new body so now first you have made the prana to come to your body of shri ramakrishna then next through the next mantra chanting the jiva has come to you of ramakrishna and now all the indriyas of the body of shri ramakrishna has entered your new body so that is the meaning i will again make you repeat this so the jiva of shri ramakrishna suppose you are doing krishna puja then the jiva of krishna and the prana of krishna and the all the indriyas the organs of krishna will come to you in this prana pratishta now we are telling the name of ramakrishna now i will make you repeat the third mantra aam hrim krom yam ram लम वम शम शम सम हौम हम सह श्री रामकृष्ण देवताया सर्वे इंद्रिया श्री रामकृष्ण देवताया सर्वे इंद्रिया सर्व इंद्रिया मीन्स ऑल द ऑर्गन नाउ वी शल गो टू द नेक्स्ट मंत्र बट बिकॉज वी हैव फिनिश्ड अवर टाइम इट इज ऑलरेडी सेवन ओ क्लॉक So we will stop the discussion, or I will just. Uh, that is a, one of the toughest. Uh, this thing, mantra is the next mantra, the toughest mantra. I think we will uh, go to the next uh, class itself because it has to be uh, told to you in detail, and it is very very difficult. So we will take it in the next class. We will end this session with a prayer. Om Purnamada Purnamidam. पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं तत्सत्मकृष्णापणमस्तु नमस्ते ओं नमो नारायण